Uh, let's go to Ted Nugent, uh, who, Ted, my gosh, Ted. What is, what is the NRA? I was there. It was nothing but crazy people there, Ted. Yes, indeed. I got shot four times. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, let, let me start out. Number one, how are you? You good? I'm great. Good. I I'm like great. it when you're great because you came off great. You greatly represent we the people, and I want to salute you from everybody that I communicated with at the most wonderful family gathering I've ever been to, the Houston NRA event. We all thank you and salute you. You're doing God's work, and you represent us perfectly. God bless you. Glenn. Thank you very much, Ted. And you, um, I didn't get a chance to see yours. You spoke on uh, Sunday. Correct. Um, and uh, you've made a lot of people very angry. Yes, it's my job. I just get up in the morning. I get up in the morning and freak implode. I with no effort whatsoever, by the way, Glenn. Well, you called the media, and I don't know how you get away with things like this. Soulless. Well, you know, my eyes work, my ears work, my brain works, and I call it as I see it. It really is soulless. I mean. Uh, let, let's just take the uh, the horror of Benghazi right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many examples of the media uh, violating their First Amendment rights slash duty. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes, I would. I mean, my God, there's four dead Americans, and Brian Terry is dead because of a gun-running attorney general. Well, ben, then, God, make no mistake, Ted. I, I stand by this. We said this, uh, I think, day number four of Benghazi. Uh, and everything but this one has now fallen into place. But mark my words, that ambassador is dead because of gun running. This government was running guns to the Syrian rebels. Mark my words, that is what this is about. This is gun running again. I absolutely believe you, but to think that Hillary Clinton, I mean, you know, my my brain is, is stretched to the limit trying to figure out how dare an employee of we the people scold their employers when simply asking for accountability when the bodies of our heroes in Benghazi haven't even been buried yet instead of answering the questions she scolds her employees her employer employers it, uh, it it's it's beyond cuckoo's nest glenn so uh, again the real battle cry of the nra is that we the people have to turn up our activism we have to demand accountability and you know i i gotta tell you as horrible as it is uh i see an increase in that we the people engagement do you see that as well yes i do um that 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 encourages me i think that's why my guitars do not gently weep i'm on the greatest <laughs> tour of my life right now and the audiences i you know the, the, the indescribable energy and positive spirit, and it has a lot to do with the fact that I stand up for what they believe in. I have never been to a Ted Nugent concert. You're in Dallas tomorrow, aren't you? Tonight, I guess. Tonight? Tonight. They're, they're already putting up the uh, security team now, which is basically a bunch of deer hunters. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you, Ario Speedwagon, and, and, Dick, yeah. and who else? Ario Sticks and Uncle Ted. Ario yes. Sticks and uh, Ted Nugent. That's a great bill. Yeah, in, in uh, cool. Grand Prairie, right down, down the road from me. Glenn, you got to witness the fire, the passion, the fun factor of my I, I will tell you that Pat is, Pat has always been, I mean, he's an Ario Sticks, Ted Nugent kind of guy. Mm -hmm. I was always mm -hmm. Sleepy Elevator music kind of guy. Yeah, Morris well, Albert. Uh, and I was never Morris Albert. He was Albert. listening to Morris Albert I was not and listening Barry to Morris Manilow Al when I was listening I to you, Ted. I not. I won't deny the Barry Manilow thing, but Morris Albert, I stand firmly against. Well, I know that Stranglehold moved you now more than ever. So, <laughs> so Ted, I, you know, I, I don't know if you had a chance because it was the longest speech uh, given, uh, I believe, since that one president gave his speech and then cut a gold and then died right after. I gave one of the longest speeches uh, known to man on Saturday, um, but the, but the. The whole point of that was we have to stop. I, I said we, we, we can no longer say um, uh, give me liberty, give me death. It needs to be give me responsibility or give me death because there is no liberty without our own personal responsibility, without us being able to reap the benefits or also have to stand uh, accountable for the things and the decisions that we, we made. And we need to start moving um, in a in a much more responsible way. This is really the beginning of the new civil rights movement. I really, truly believe that. You're absolutely correct. I think what you were talking about just was nice coming on the air with you now about knowing your neighbors and knowing the law enforcement heroes. You know, 
I'm I'm a really goofy guitar player, Glenn, but I wrote about that in numerous articles in my book, God, Guns, and Rock and Roll, all of my books, in all of my articles I've written, that that's job one. Know your firemen. Know your medical experts. Know the way to the, the emergency. And know your sheriff, your chief of police, and your state trooper commander. I... I can't believe that that's not the standard operating procedure of American families, and I hope that you are prodding them to do so. And I've, I've gone drive-alongs in every city I've ever performed in, pretty much. I've been a sheriff deputy. I'm a sheriff deputy now in uh, four states. Uh, I, I patrol with Sheriff Joe Arpaio. I'm a captain on the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department. Uh, and I'm just a guitar player, but I see that law and order will come from we the people demanding law and order and communicating with the heroes who give us law and order. Where do we go from here, Ted? What happens next? Well, we've got to demand. Thank God for the Ted Cruz's out there and, and, and some of the guys that are <laughs> raising on. hell. Hold, hold on just a second. Do we have the Harry Reid audio? Do we have the Harry Reid audio? This, uh, is the, yes. this is the greatest. This <laughs> This is the greatest. This is Harry Reid and uh, Ted Cruz yesterday in the Senate. My friend from Texas is like the schoolyard bully. Uh, he uh, pushes everybody around and is losing. And instead of playing the game according to the rules, he not only takes the ball home with him, but changes the rules. Mr. President. Senator from Texas. I wasn't aware we were in the schoolyard. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Cruz is great. one of the greatest. Absolutely. He is really one of the real greats. And I, I, I didn't know for sure he was going to be the guy. I mean, I liked, I liked the core of who he was. I love his father. Uh, but you know, you send these guys to Washington, and they change. This guy has changed. He's gotten better. Yep. Yep. Well, that's what my response is to where do we go from here. We've got to get every state represented by a Ted Cruz. The, the American public has got to do more research about those that they vote for. They've got to vote. They've got to find the voice of, of, of authority, of constitutional, common sense, logic, self-evident truth authority, and vote them into office. Harry Reid is a bad man. Bad the man. president is a bad man. Hillary Clinton is a bad something. Eric Holder what does is that a mean? bad gun runner. Bad something. She's a bad man, a bad woman. She's a she's bad, <laughs> and and we need to get Ted Cruz's in there. And there's other examples. Uh, my friend Mike Rogers from Michigan. I believe he will be the new director of the FBI. What an incredible upgrade that will be! I'm telling you, Glenn. People are doing their homework better, so that is where do we go from here. We need to re-engage as an experiment in self-government where all common sense, demanding accountability self-Americans vote and communicate with their elected officials and go, I want answers. And here's the bottom line. Look a human in the eye and say, what do you believe about the death tax? Because if you believe in the death tax, you're a thief. And as long as that kind of policy exists in this country, we will not be free. And that's one of the thousand that we need to focus on. So, so where do we go from here? Increased activism, better communication with our government, and Glenn. We need to engage in radio talk shows, the news shows, the talk shows, the sports shows, and bring these issues up. Don't let them just skim over them and then go on to the next subject. Don't leave the subject till you've proposed a meaningful answer. I want accountability. Benghazi, Fast and Furious, jets to Egypt, et cetera, et cetera. It's well, you know, the problem simple. is, the, the problem is, um, the media, it amazes me. The media is already off the Boston bombing. The media is, 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 is off that thing. I, I think today the, um, uh, the Blaze, if it's not already up there, the Blaze is um, going to be releasing something that is a really fascinating look in um, uh, counterintelligence. We have one of our, uh, one of our sources is a uh, counterintelligence guy, and he said, I've been waiting for somebody to, to notice what's happening with Russia and what's happening with that mom. That's not what's really going on. And there's a story coming out. If it's not today, it'll be tomorrow, and I'll, I'll share it with you tomorrow. But it is, 
it's fascinating and nobody's paying attention to it because today we're moving on to Cleveland and tomorrow it will be something else. And so these things will just go by the wayside. Benghazi really, this is, and I said it at the time, this is Watergate. Here it is. If you don't get it right now, it's going to do exactly the same thing it did with Watergate. But I'm not sure that the American people will actually follow through on this one. I'm not sure if there will ever be hearings on this or if this guy would ever be shamed into leaving the White House. But this really is Watergate. I believe that Glenn Beck will not stop. I believe that Ted Nugent will not stop. But here it is in a nutshell as I get ready to rock my my torso into oblivion in D- Dallas. I'm so excited about playing my guitar. I can hardly stand my. Where are you? Where Where are you? <laughs> Where, we're, we're before, where, where are you tonight? I, right now I'm at our Spirit Wild Ranch just down here uh, south of Dallas. But we're playing tonight at the, Ver, where are we, Verizon Theater in Grand Prairie, Texas. Tonight I go on at 7 p.m., so if you want your skull rearranged, come on. <laughs> should, I bring my hunting, should I bring I my what... hunting ear <laughs> protection? To maybe get... well, you're awfully the... loud. I... I got I got a, a bunch of TV crews coming in here. I just did the Chinese TV, um, Australian 60 Minutes. The Russian crew came in here. They all want to know about freedom and the Second Amendment. And do you believe, Glenn, that I delivered it accurately? Yes, I do. I, I, believe, believe, you're I, the, I believe you're the only one who does deliver it accurately. Well, Glenn, let me leave you with this, because uh, it really is simple. You're in Texas, and I'm in Texas, because Rick Perry is our governor. Attorney General Greg Abbott is our U.S. Constitution driving you, uh, Attorney General. Uh, uh, Ted Cruz is our representative. We've got the Steve Stockman. Louis, Louis got, Gohmert. Louis yeah, Gohmert is Louis our congressman. Gohmert. We've got heroes that we, the people, vetted, scrutinized, and put in to represent us. And if every state in the nation had that list of warriors... Our problems would be over, but we have a long way to go. So examine Texas, America, and do to your state what we've done in Texas. Get accurate representation based on the U.S. Constitution, and what you believe in your heart right. will be accountability and security for your family. Ted Nugent, always a pleasure. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you and uh, love you. Godspeed, Glenn. Godspeed to you.